In the vast landscape of the internet, where every click and like is a breadcrumb leading to your digital soul, there lies a dark web of data. This is not just about one company. This is the story of a scandal that peeled back the layers of the big data economy, revealing the uncomfortable truth about the power it wields over our lives. Mr. Zuckerberg, what year and month did you personally first become aware of Cambridge Analytica. Cambridge Analytica, the self-proclaimed puppet master, boasting about having 5,000 data points on every U.S. voter. Forget psychic readings. They claim to predict your behavior based on your Facebook likes. But how did they get their hands on this treasure trove of personal information? It all started with Facebook, the social media giant we willingly share our lives with. Cambridge Analytica, however, took it a step too far improperly snatching data from 87 million profiles. Status updates, likes, and even private messages became their ammunition in the game of digital manipulation. But let's not point fingers at just one bad actor. The real issue lies in a system known as surveillance capitalism. It's a playground where big tech companies, led by the pioneers Googly and Facebook, amass vast amounts of data on us. Your every digital move becomes a puzzle piece, revealing more about you than you'd ever imagine. Harvesting data is just the beginning. The real game changer is the profiling powered by machine learning. Facebook, in its own profiling practices, delved into manipulation manipulating emotions and targeting psychological vulnerabilities. Google's tool for precise at targeting? It's not just about selling shoes, it's about swaying beliefs and changing behavior. The burning question, to what extent are we susceptible to such manipulation? As these tech giants shape our opinions, they pose a real threat to our autonomy and dignity, fundamental values of human rights. The internet surveillance model itself is under scrutiny, challenging the very essence of our right to privacy. The dark side doesn't end there. Discrimination lurks in the shadows. Data analytics if misused, can become a tool for targeting individuals based on race, religion, or gender. The toxic trend towards demonization is fueled by platforms privileging sensationalism over sanity. So, what can be done to untangle this web of deceit? Stronger data protection, breaking up big tech, these are the battle cries. But the solution must be rooted in an analysis of the human rights risks posed by the surveillance capitalism model. As fines are slapped and settlements are reached, we must not let this become a mere footnote in history. It's high time to confront the human rights impacts of surveillance capitalism. The battle for our digital souls has just begun.